Here is the 2025 MacBook Air with the M4 chip. This is the 15 inch, but it will work for the 13 inch as well. I'm gonna show you how to set this up step by step. So the first thing is go ahead and open up the MacBook and then just wait till it boots up to your at this hello screen here. And then from here, just tap the trackpad. And now, now from here, go ahead and but choose I'm your language. To use English as I'm the gonna main go language. with English. I'm press gonna press the return, key. return on the keyboard. Now select your country or region. I'm gonna go with English, it's already highlighted, and I'm just gonna go down here with the mouse and just tap on continue. Here is the accessibility features. You can go ahead and look through that. You can choose whichever one you want. You can do it now or you can do it later or you can never do it. For me, I'm not interested, so I'm just gonna go and click down here, not now. Select your Wi-Fi network. So let me find my Wi-Fi here. After you find your Wi-Fi network, input your password. After you put in your password, you wanna go down to continue. It says connecting down there. Data and privacy, go ahead and read through that. If you wanna learn more, tap on learn more and then tap on continue. Now here's the migration assistant. If you have information or another Mac or a Windows PC or computer, you can transfer it to this MacBook. You can also transfer information from a time machine backup or another startup disk, okay? So it says down here, how do you want to transfer information from a Mac time machine backup or startup disk or from a Windows PC, laptop, or computer. Now you can do this now or you can do it at a later time. Sometime after setup you can do it, okay? For myself, I'm gonna do this another time, okay? So I'm just gonna go down to not now. And here they want you to sign into your Apple account, okay? So you can sign in there or if uh, you don't have an Apple account, you can make one right there where it says create new Apple account. And you can do this now or you can do it later. For me, I'm just gonna do it another time, so I'm gonna do set up later. And I'm gonna skip this part. Terms, condition, read all that. You can read more and more here as well. And if you agree, we're gonna tap on agree down here. And then we're gonna tap on agree right there. Create a, com a computer account, says full name, so just put in the name in there. I'm just gonna put just a V on there. Account name. And this will be the name of your home folder. And for me, I'm just going to name my account name MacBook Air. And then you have to create a password down here. You have to put it in twice. And then you can make a, a password hint if you need. Okay, I don't need one. And then I'm just going to go down here and tap on Continue. It says Creating Account. Enable Location Services. Go ahead and read through that. And you can enable it or not enable it. Or you can not enable it and enable it later at another time or turn it off at another time it's up to you, but I'm just going to go ahead and enable mine now, and I'm going to tap on continue. Analytics, share Mac analytics with Apple, and there's another one, share crash and usage data with app developers. This is optional, okay? You can have these both checked or unchecked. It's up to you, okay? For me, I'm fine having both of them checked, and I will tap on continue. Screen time, get like weekly reports and stuff, and you can read through all this as well, and then... So besides weekly reports, you have downtime and app limits, content privacy and restrictions, screen time, passcodes, and so on, okay? So if you want to set that up, you can go ahead and click on to continue, or you can set up and do it later, or, or set up later and never do it. For me, I'm not interested, so I'll just tap on set up later. Apple Intelligence, go ahead and read through that, and then you can also tap uh, about Apple Intelligence Privacy down here, and then once you do that, we want to go and tap on continue. Here is Siri, the digital assistant. You can set up later, and, or you can set up later and never do it, or you can do it now. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and do mine now, and I'm gonna to have to speak to Siri here, so I'm gonna tap on continue. You can type to Siri. To type your request, click on the Siri button, which is up there in the menu bar, or you can simply press the command uh, key twice on your keyboard. So I'm just gonna tap on the Siri button up here. And then you can type whatever you want up there. So I'm gonna go down, tap on continue. Siri, how's the weather? Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. 
Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. Okay, Siri is ready. And it says this Mac will listen for Siri or Hey Siri at the beginning of requests. Okay, so we're going to tap on continue. Select your Siri voice. You want the male voice or female the voice? The colors of the sky. The colors of the sky. I like the number colors four. of the sky fade I'll with the setting sun four. as the stars begin. Improve Siri dictation. This is optional. You can share share audio recordings or not. It's up to you. For me, I will share, and I will go down to continue. Here is Touch ID. You can set this up later. You can do it now. Let's go ahead and do it now. Touch ID basically is like a fingerprint password. And it's going to be this key on the top right. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on continue. And then we're going to place the finger on the top right. And just keep going up and down until all that fills up with red. Make sure to get the edges of your finger as well. All right, touch ID is ready. I'm going to tap on continue. Choose your look or your appearance. You can go light mode, dark mode, or you can do auto. I'm going to go with uh, dark here. Most of you guys will go with dark as well. And then I'm going to tap on continue. Welcome to Mac. And then we're just going to go down here and then select continue. Okay, and there we go. Now we're all set up, but remember we downloaded the uh, software update, but now we should go ahead and install it. So we're going to install that software update. We're going to click on the Apple logo on the top left hand side. We're going to go down to system settings. And then from here, you just want to go make sure general is highlighted and then go to software update right there. And yes, we do. We have an update available. I can update tonight or I can update now. I'm going to go ahead and update now and just read through that. And then I'm going to go ahead and tap on agree. Put in my password to this MacBook. Click on OK. Now you can see the progress bar. It is downloading. Anyway, there you guys go. You can see I still have like 30 minutes remaining. So I'm going ahead and end the video now. If you have any questions or issues or anything, just uh, comment below. All right. Good luck, guys.